was tackling a career that literally wasn't a career in those days. You couldn't put muralist as an option for what you want to be when you grow up. It didn't exist. I'm Jonas Never, and I'm a muralist. I got started doing graffiti and just painting letters and stuff on the side of buildings, on the side of freeways, whatnot. I got a lot of pushback early on because I was tackling a career that literally wasn't a career in those days. Was, you couldn't put muralist as an option for what you want to be when you grow up. It didn't exist. Uh, street art was still not even a term that had really been coined yet. It was like graffiti, gang art or whatever. And there weren't necessarily a permit system set up. There wasn't a support system for a career that didn't exist. It wasn't like going the accepted route and be working for a bank or working, you know, like a normal job like so many people do. Like, this is not a nine to five job. And there's something safe and reassuring about doing what the convention says to do. But if you're going to stand out, you have to go your own way. And I'm really glad I did. And hopefully I can do this for the rest of my life. So I have been inspired from the moment I get up to the moment I go to sleep to paint and grow as an artist. And I'm proud that I'm able to be my own boss, my own employee, my own everything. The excitement behind what's next and what haven't I done yet and how can I improve what I've already done pushes me each day to continue painting and continue growing and this is a journey like every step of the way is important and if I'm not happy with what I'm doing how do I expect anyone else to be happy? How are you gonna really be happy with something that's not you? If you're faking what you're doing I think it'll show and how are you gonna be passionate about something that your heart's not 100% in like as long as you're true to yourself and true to what you're doing you're gonna have a great time and I think be happy with the results now and down the road.